Hi guys, I've had another package turn up in the mail, but unlike the mole cricket, I know what this one is. I got an email from one of my subscribers called Michael, and he said that he had some salt crystals. Now he told me that they're from the Great Salt Plains in Oklahoma, and apparently it's against federal law to sell them. So he thought he'd send them to me and see if I could do something cool with them. Now obviously the first thing I thought of was dunk them in resin. And then I started thinking, would they dissolve in resin? Well I guess there's only one way to find out. Let's take a look. Now to be honest, the only salt crystals I've ever seen are those big salt lamps. I've never really seen any small ones. So I'm really interested to see what we have here. Okay, we've got ourselves a note from Michael. Ben, these crystals are dug up in Oklahoma, USA are unique. It is against our federal law to sell them, but they can be given as gifts. I'd love to see what you can do with them. Michael. Well, Michael, I can't wait to do something with them as well. Now, he was a bit concerned that these might arrive broken, so I'm just going to be real careful about opening this package. Okay, are we ready to see what we got? I feel like they got a bit of weight to them. Oh, check that out. That's actually not what I expected to see. For some reason, I thought they were going to be pink. That's a cool looking one. We've got a nice little tiny one as well. Since I've never seen salt crystals like this before, I'm not too sure what I'm looking at. Is that some kind of sand that's trapped in the middle there? Let me know in the comments. I think to do our test to see if these dissolve in resin, I'm going to use this larger one. And then I'm going to save these smaller ones and make a cool project with them. So the first thing I need to do is pour myself a base layer for the crystal to sit on. And I'm just going to use this plastic container as my mould. Now I'm just going to go pop this in the pressure pot. So now our base layer is cured, the next thing we need to do is pop in the crystal and then pour some resin over the top. What's your prediction guys? Do you reckon this is going to work? Or do you think it's going to dissolve? Let me know in the comments. Okay, it's now time to pop this back in the pressure pot. Pot cam's going to have a slightly different look this week.
Well guys, what did you think of Potcam's new view? Hopefully you saw everything. Now let's take a look. Well, I didn't expect that. All I have to do now is pop this out of the container, give it a bit of a clean up, and then we can take a closer look. Before we check out this awesome crystal, I just want to thank Michael again for sending these in. I really do appreciate it. And if you guys want to see what I'm going to make using these crystals, make sure you keep an eye on my Instagram page. I'll post a few photos there, and I'll also do it here on the community page. Now let's check this out. 